I'm Jonah, I'm 26, I'm from the States, the United States. I wanted to be happier, pretty much. It's, it was very, very difficult and very good for me at the same time, like, uh, like going to the doctor's office, kind of. So this is my second course, so I thought it would be really a lot easier, but it's still really, really hard to sit with your thoughts for so long. My name is Pavel, I am 33, I'm from Russia. I had a lot of mental problems and I decided to go here to resolve it. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's difficult to explain. I don't know such words to explain. Something over, over, I mean, beyond understanding. It's very, very great experience. Hi, I'm, I'm Ryan. I'm 17 and I'm from Singapore. I saw my dad joining and then I asked him to join. It was very mm, interesting very eye-opening. I found out a lot more about myself and others as well because when I look into myself I see how others uh, would do, same, do the same and you know you'd empathize with others better once you look and see like you're not as perfect and so are others. My name is Rohan, I'm 20 years old this year and I'm from Singapore so same as the other guy because we're related. Sadly. You're related? Oh yes. wow amazing! In Sadly. what way? Brothers? Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, what brought you to Vipassana? Um, my dad actually just forced us to come. Amazing. Forced I love your dad. <laughs> oh, Amazing. guys, for legal reasons, my dad did not force us. <laughs> he, he gave us the benefits and he Officer? gave us some time to think. Yeah, I guess the main oh thing about Vipassana is like you learn to live with the good and the bad yeah. mm. and just accept reality as it is. And then you're much more happier that way. You realize, like, instead of just reacting to the outcome, what, why should I attach? How I feel about like stuff, you know, yeah. external. Yeah, you, you'd understand if you come here, so you just <laughs> yeah. yeah, just come here. Just yeah. come. Zala Ayer, uh, from Singapore, and I'm 54 year old. Well, I've been a meditator for many years, and uh, Vipassana seems to be an opportunity of 10 days of silent meditation where uh, I would try newer technique experiment with uh, different uh, um, settings and that's why I undertook 10 days uh, with Arsenal meditation. And uh, you brought both your sons, tell us about that, that sort of decision to bring your sons al along as well. Well, the, the Rohan, uh, he's the elder one, he's got a free time because he's supposed to join the army and he had like about six weeks off. Ryan was also on vacation, so I spoke to them, influenced them. Jokingly, one of them would say, oh, I forced them, but I didn't actually force anyone. I just show them you're going to Bali, you spend a couple of days each and then 10 days here. Hi, I'm Heider, I'm 30 years old and I'm from London. Um, honestly, I just wanted to spend more time with myself. I think it was a really interesting experience. The, the first three days, we just had to focus on the breathing between the nose and, and the lips and it just focuses your mind so much and, and I realized on day one like my mind was like monkey mind all over all over by day three and day four I only had like three or four thoughts and um, I realized actually I was attached to certain things certain people certain places certain stories um, so I realized that I need to go through a deep detachment process um, and in the evenings we'd have like this one hour talk by going to uh, the guru basically and so we learned more about Vipassana, so pas pasana, Vipassana, Pasana means <laughs> V means to observe. So what we were doing was observing sensations on our body because basically reality is just you, right? Um, and it's everything that's happening within you. Um, so um, others have said, um, uh, basically, if you can control what's within you and sensations, um, then effectively you don't need to be so focused on the external world. So that's it. So thanks. Um, hopefully you guys can join and uh, we'll show you more stuff. We'll show you around the schedule and the facilities. Thank you. Uh, what's this, Brian? What you show us what that is? Um, that's the general shower room. I think you wash your hands and brush your teeth probably. I'm not too sure. Yeah. These are buckets for washing and yeah. that is where you do your showers and the toilets and all. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's a few more down there as well. All right. So but can... this is a very useful area as you can tell. <laughs> and, uh, so we've got um, accommodation as well. Uh, we'll show you this later. So this is uh, meditation for all. And then this is the accommodation. So this is accommodation. 
Uh, it's quite small, like, but it, it does the job. Um, you, you get this, you get that. <laughs> That's it. So guys, we're going to run through the schedule. So we had to wake up what time? What time did we have to wake up? Uh, 4 a.m. Yes. 4 a.m. Yeah. And then uh, 4.30 a.m. was the first meditation so for two hours. Yeah. And then 6.30 breakfast mm -hmm. until 7. And then around 7 or actually technically until 8. But most of us finish by 7. Mm. And then we'll just rest for a bit until 8 o'clock. Okay. And then? And then... Uh, at 8, there's another meditation yeah. until 9, but it's like everyone has to group up at the hall. Yeah. So, until 9, we all stay in the hall. Then I think from 9 to 11, you can still you still meditate, but you can just just like walk out, walk around, stretch a bit, yeah. sleep. So, basically, thr throughout the day, throughout the day, there were 12 hours dedicated for meditation, but only, <laughs> only about four and a half hours were actually like you know mandatory meditation uh, the rest you could just do in your room or outside and um what else i think uh, we only had like breakfast at 6 30 yep. which is really good big uh, all vegan and then we had lunch around 11 a.m yeah and that's it that's your two main meals also vegan also vegan yep. um, which is great vegans if you're listening here everything is vegan yeah um and then by 5 p.m we had tea time and uh, which was just two fruit pieces and um, tea, I guess. And then we had sleep at like 9 p.m. I think lights out. Usually yeah. around 9, you can ask questions. Oh, yeah. And you don't have to like sleep at 9 if you don't want to. You can walk around for a bit. Mm. You can shower. You can brush your teeth, etc. Etc. Dig a hole to escape. Oh, my it's God. Wow, that guy's so funny. Don't, don't actually do that. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd understand if you come here. So you just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, just come here. Just yeah. come here. Oh.